Hey everybody, it's good to be together. Welcome to, welcome to Move On Mondays. So, there is a certain kind of person that uh, they always build and develop and mature. So, do you know who they are? They is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And uh, good morning, everybody. So share this right away. Let people hear this. Let them hear this message. Let them be uh, provoked and encouraged. So please share this now. All right, it's great to see you guys. So there's a certain kind of person that they are building. They've built them, okay? And when I say build, I mean maturing. I mean uh, they're developing and it's their sons, and in every generation, they find those who will let them make them their kind of person. Now, unfortunately, as the church has evolved under the leadership of man, uh, we give people several options on what kind of Christian they can be. Hmm? We give them several options and unfortunately, what happens in that is that the kind of person that God wants to build, uh, the kind that live like Jesus, look like Jesus, walk like Jesus, the really the only kind that you find in the scripture that they are building, which is, you know, the stones that they make their church out of are sons. Those stones are sons, okay? And when man gets in charge, man gives you options, and unfortunately what happens is um, the kind of person that God wants to build becomes like some kind of deep, radical person, <laughs> which is not really true. No, we become the normal, okay, that God has always wanted. The norm if, is if you look at Jesus, and it is the norm to live full out um, in abiding dependency and maturing oneness with God. That, that's the norm. That's what human beings were always meant to be, sons who live in deep abiding oneness. This isn't for the odd. This isn't for the, you know, just the radical and the deep, okay? No, that's the norm. Hey, everybody, great to see you. It's the norm, so please share this if you want to while, while we're on live and then certainly in the, when I repost it. So this, this is very important and um, we have to awaken to that. You know, there's a saying that's going around that says, you know, all of this shaking is so that there can be an awakening and uh, I certainly want to promote that thought I'm not here just to hold on during the shaking and, you know, whew, that, that's finally passed and I sure am glad that, you know, that's over. Uh, no, that shaking is so that there's an awakening ooh, to what they've always wanted. They've always wanted sons who lived in uh, abiding oneness with them. That's why you look at Jesus and you see the norm for humans, not the odd, you know, I was, I was preaching yesterday, and I said, you know, this royal priesthood, this holy nation, the peculiar people are not peculiar people because, you know, we go around acting peculiar. So if you're acting peculiar, just cut it out. Stop it, okay? <laughs> All right? Because the peculiar possession, a peculiar people, means that God has drawn a circle around you, and he has owned you for himself. You are so important to him. And he made you, the real you, the new you in Christ. This is the norm. This is the norm. And I'm not going to act like it's like, oh, I'm inviting you into this weird mystical thing. No, I'm not. I'm inviting you into the norm of how we were meant to live. The reason that we're all freaked out and toked up, okay, the reason that everybody's breaking down and blowing up, okay, is because they're living in a way that we were never meant to. So this is going to be very important for us to just recognize, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm not doing something weird and radical. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm finally getting back to the norm of how it was meant for me to live. So, so I 
am thinking about this, you know, obviously, this kind of person that God is building because that's a part of the redefining of discipleship here at Nancy McCready Ministries. And redefining discipleship, discipleship isn't the end, it's the means to the end. It's the finally, let's blow off all this other stuff and let's get into the processes that actually where Holy Spirit is sent out by the Father to build his church, to build his sons, okay, those lively stones that he's building the church with are his sons, okay, who live like Jesus, okay, so that we can get on with what it is that God is looking to do in every aspect of culture, every sphere of influence, everything, all right? So this is so important because sometimes you've got to re be reminded of the big picture so as to understand what all the other things are about, okay? So what I've just described is where we've got to realize this is the kind of person that they are building, all right? Now, we start as babies, and we go into fully uh, maturing, maturing sons, okay? But you don't give people the option of being a carnal Christian, a backslidden Christian, a, you know, a Sunday-only Christian, you know, uh, a seeker-sensitive Christian, all that. I mean, look, we all start out and come in a particular way, but surely at some point they are hearing the gospel, which is that God has come for his sons through Christ, through the power of the cross, and through that finished work, so that the Holy Spirit could be poured out into us that we might live in oneness with him and then go on and live the life uh, with him. It's all about him, okay? So at some point, surely that, that comes to people. If not, if there's some other kind of gospel going on, then this is why there's a whole lot of shaking going on. And we've got to be awakened and get back to what is it that God is after? What did he always want? What has he done to make it possible? So good morning, everybody. I'm so glad to see my friends there in Poland and to see all of you. Please share this while it's live and on the repost. Okay, so this is the redefining of discipleship is let's build the kind of person that God is looking to build. Let's help mature. Let's provoke. Let's be that person, right? Because listen, my friends, you're not in God's way. You are God's way, uh, all right? Not only do you not do the will of God, just do the will of God. You are the will of God, all right? This is very key. Too many people I hear saying, oh, I need to get out of God's way. What? What? How, how is this possible? Do you think, you, you think he's just going to float in? No, he comes through sons, no, I'm his way into the earth. That's his, by his design. I'm not in God's way. Flesh might be in God's way, but my friends, you're not your flesh. So this is going to be, again, this is very key. No, I, I'm his way into the earth. He's going to live straight through me. If he's going to show up in my house, if he's going to show up in my, you know, sphere of influence, guess what? He's living straight through me in deep abiding oneness. So that is the calling Okay, your calling is not your job. Your calling is not your geographical location. Your calling is not your ministry, your gifting. Your calling is to him. He says, come to me, learn of me, remain with me, stay with me, abide in me. You understand you're called to him, period. You don't have to look any further to know your calling. You're called to him. Once you're called, my friends, and you come to live in that kind of abiding oneness with him, then my friends, you're gonna lean into him like never before. You're gonna lean into him like never before, your head upon his chest, okay? Hearing his heartbeat. No formulas, no formulas are gonna make it. No formulas. No, I got this, one, two, three. No, you ain't got this. I know that's bad grammar, but that's when I take coffee breaks. <laughs> hmm? No. No formula. It's over. That kind of stuff. It's over. It's over. Okay? Fellowship. Deep abiding fellowship. If you're going to be able to live like Jesus, you're going to have to be willing to be developed the same way Jesus was developed. You're going to need to allow the Father, through the Holy Spirit, to raise you from level to level of your developmental maturity markers. Okay, because there's a time to talk, there's a time to learn to walk, there's a time to learn your letters, there's a, line, a time to learn your numbers, there's a time to then go, oh, all those letters put together and make words, and you learn to read, and you realize, whoa, spiritually, 
all right? There is a time to learn my numbers and then there's a time to learn what those numbers are about. See, you're developing phase by phase, okay? And this is very, very key uh, to what's happening. So if you're gonna develop discernment like Jesus, you've got to lean in, abide, stay, remain, cling to, so that you will know the difference between when it's time to slip through the crowd when people want to harm you and when it's time to drink the cup of the Father and die. All right, listen to me carefully. We have to know this in this day and time. So we have to be people of calling, called to him, to lean into him, so that then our conscience has got to be pricked. My friends, our conscience has gone to sleep and has been dulled. By sin, there are those of you that are out there, okay, that you may be dabbling in sin, which means not just misbehaving, okay, but you're meeting your needs independent of him. I don't have time to go through all that, but those of you that hear me enough, you know, all right? So this is very pivotal, okay, is you're dulling your conscience, Okay, where it should have a sharp point, it's dulled, it's rounded. Can't cut through any waters, can't cut through difficulties, can't do anything. Why? Because our, our own conscience has been blunted, but it can be sharpened. It can be sensitized to him if you'll respond to the calling to him. So there's calling, there is a conscience, an awakening of conscience. And there are going to be things, my friends, you are not going to be able to um, to rest until your conscience begins to be awakened. And I'm telling you, that is a very necessary part of what we're in. Our conscience has to be deeply sensitized to him. You know, there have been people in every generation who would not bow, who would not bow to the powers of the day. They were led by the voice of God, by their devotion to God, because God was their life, okay? Their literal life. And this is not radical, my friends. This is the norm. This is the norm for uh, humans, for Christians, okay? This is the norm. He is my life. Everything, all my fountains are in him because he is the fountain, and my conscience and my number one allegiance is to him, is to him, the person of Father, the person of Son, the person of Holy Spirit. And once your conscience, like all of those in generations past, nameless, faceless people that nobody really recognized at the time, we all applaud them now and think, oh, what heroes. But at the time, many of them were nameless, faceless people that nobody knew, like you and me, hmm? who would not bow to the powers of the day and lived in allegiance, intelligent loyalty, intelligent allegiance, intelligent, okay, Jesus. This is the kind of person that they are building right now. This is not downtime, my friends. This is development time. So once you respond to calling, then he, he can really begin to awaken and sharpen your conscience so that you begin to be led by him. No herd mentality. Then that is going to affect your choices, the choices that you make now. Hmm? Not just looking for choices of comfort, but choices of conscience. And those choices are going to have consequences. Get ready. They're going to have consequences. This is why he's been attempting to deliver us from people pleasing and other such fleshly things is because, my friends, if you don't get delivered from people pleasing and needing the acceptance of others, you are, listen to me carefully, you, you're not gonna follow God. Hmm? You know, it's not gonna happen. You cannot please people and the Father at the same time. Now, if you please the Father, I, I've heard he'll make even your enemies <laughs> be at peace with you. 
So I'm strongly suggesting that we choose him and that we go with him, no matter what, no matter what the consequences are, because then we will complete our course and finish our race. God is attempting to return you to a dignity that only comes to those who live as they were meant to live. Hmm? Not fame, not fortune, okay? Not the applause of men, but a dignity that comes only when you walk in abiding oneness with the Father. Welcome to Move On Mondays, my friends. Will you be the kind of person, the caliber of sons that allow, you can't produce this in yourself, so don't try. You cannot um, just pull yourself up by your bootstraps and do this, don't, that's not what we're after. This is about, are we gonna be the kind of person that they build? And then guess what, we'll be able to boast in him because like we're gonna be really clear, I did not make me, he did. He made me new. And then he took all that new life within and he began to form, okay? This is the redefining of discipleship so that real sons get up. They are those who make up the church, the living organic church of Jesus Christ, okay? So that that's the church that the gates of hell will not prevail against. And we need to be that kind of person. And we cannot romanticize this stuff. We cannot romanticize what is coming. And I, when I was preaching yesterday, I said, you're not going to be able to fake calm with what we're about to face. You cannot fake it. You cannot do that. We have to be the real thing. The kind of person that they are building. Are you willing? And are you engaging with processes? okay, that are building that? Or are you just attending church from week to week and you get this message this week and this message next week? Or are you actually on their growth process? Are you in their growth process? Which is how we go from strength to strength, glory to glory, all of that. Come on now. This is what, this is what we're about, okay? This is... Uh, what Move on Mondays is about. This is what Tent Talk Podcast is about. This is what my YouTube channel is about. This is what sitting at my own kitchen table is about. This is what my conversations are about when I'm talking with people. This is who we are. Are you the message? You know, I know this may sound a little, you know, bold, you know, but I'm Nancy McCready and I am this message. Hmm? Do you understand? I want you to be able to say I am uh, Aaron, I am Charlie, I am Debbie, I am Oliva, I am, and I am this message. Not because you're full of hype and not because it's a catchy slogan, but what I'm telling you is what I am because of his doing. I am this message. Are we what we preach? Are we the living witnesses of him? Is he having his way in us? as is the norm for human beings. I am not inviting you into radical waters. I am inviting you into the normal waters of God. It's got to become the norm. It only looks odd, my friends, because it's not the norm, okay? But don't get prideful and think you're all that and you're so deep and nobody else is deep, okay? Deep calling unto deep, all right? He's deep, and he's, he's made us like him. But I want that full capacity to be developed. So redefining discipleship is not the end, my friends. It is the means to the end of him having the sons and houses of fire that will be exactly what he has always wanted, that he will have what he wants, okay? So, I hope that this has provoked you today. I hope that this encourages you today. I preached this at Christian City Fellowship yesterday in Seeley, Texas. I think you can go to their Facebook page, Christian City Fellowship in Seeley, Texas, and I'm sure that you can, you can hear it. Um, but I, I'm not about you, oh, go listen to this message. It was so, you know, this message was so awesome. I'm saying... If you want to hear some more of it, 
But you can also do that on Tent Talking on YouTube and all of that. All things Nancy McCrady.com. All right, but here's what I'm saying to you is I'm just one among thousands across the globe that God is releasing uh, in this time to get his people ready. And it's an honor and it's a privilege. And uh, let's get this message out. Let's be that message, okay? And it has been awesome to be with you guys this morning, okay? So I love you all. Pass this on. Let's awaken. Let's let the shaking count. And let's get to it, okay? Let, don't just be a regular church member, please. Hmm? Let's be his church. Let's be moving with him and moving with leadership that is moving with him that's going to equip you and build you and disciple you and release you to, to be who you are, not just inside the four walls of the church, but wherever your office is today, at your home with your spouse, Okay, you with your children, your grandchildren. Okay, are we that? Is this what's happening? We are moving in uh, the norm. Okay, because they are building a certain kind of person. This hour of history is crying out for it. Okay, all right. I love you all, and I will talk to you soon. Okay, watch for lives this week and some of my stuff on IGTV, on Instagram, all of that. Okay, love you. Bye.